What's up everybody? It's your favorite World of Warcraft YouTuber here, King Kunta, and today I'm going to bring you another video. And wow, I just realized how cringy that entire thing just sounded. Oh my god. If anyone new is watching this, they're going to think I'm a total douche. Alright, but anyways, so first things first, yes I did not post a video yesterday, I'm sorry. I've been trying to do daily uploads and uh, it's killing me guys. I'm trying to make it, ha make it happen for you guys, for you guys to say, because obviously it makes you happy. Um... Yeah, actually, I just, uh, I had to take a day off, I was busy, and I figured, you know what, let's go see Deadpool 2, so I did, and it was a great movie, and if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you go see it now. Anyways, today we're gonna bring another gold farm to you guys, and I know you're gonna love it, and, uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there other than the fact that you could like and subscribe and comment down below, and also you can check, uh, the description for these sick keycaps I got, uh, it's actually, okay, so... Just instead, you can skip this part now because I'm just going to talk to all the real fans right now. But I actually bought a horde like keycap basically for my keyboard. It looks super dope and I just put it on the escape key. And that's just to make the horde people in the comments happy. Because I know you guys hate me because I love Alliance. But I did one thing for you guys and I hope you like it. And, uh,. Other than that, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to sh show you the item that we're going to farm, obviously, if I didn't lose the viewer already. Alright, so, you might know what this is, you might not know what this is, but you do see how much it costs. So, this is Wild Vine. It can be uh, picked up by Herbalists and also farmed off mobs. Today I'm going to farm it off of a mob and show you how to make a good amount of gold and potentially make, make you some you know enough for a wow token so that you can save it and use it uh for the next expansion because the prices are going to go up insanely high so buy a wow token now please and yeah so we're going to teach you where to farm this herb herb whatever and uh, as you can see these are the prices on my server um now across all servers obviously the average is right there if you look up the regional market value average that is the average um as you can see, they're actually pretty high on my server, and uh, they most likely will be on yours, too, because they can make some pretty insane potions and cool stuff with this stuff. So, enough of me just talking and telling you about all this dumb stuff. We're going to go ahead and cut the video now, and we're going to take you to the farming location, and I'm going to show you how to make a good amount of gold in a small amount of time, and you're going to love me for it. Alright, so I'm cutting the video, and I'll see you there. Bye. Alright, everybody, so we're back after that cut, and I'm just going to show you where we are right now. We're in Northern Stragglethorn Vale. Okay, and it's right here. So basically what I did is, since I'm Alliance, I took the uh, flight path from Stormwind to right here, Fort Livingston. And then after you get there, you're going to want to come to this area on the map right there. So I'll go ahead and zoom out, show you just one more time. Also, we are in the Eastern Kingdoms right there so you guys should not have a hard time getting here uh, at all so uh, once you get to this location I'll go ahead and I'll just show you from the uh, air basically you're not gonna really be able to see it you're just gonna see like a couple uh, ruin looking areas but uh, these mobs right here these mobs drop some amazing loot and honestly it's at the point like the last farm I released I really didn't even want to let people know about it because of how well you have a chance of doing at that farm but uh, this one is no different, and so each one of these mobs has a 10% chance to drop Wild Vine. On top of that 10% chance to drop Wild Vine, they also have a very high chance to drop Transmog gear. Now the gear they drop is actually worth quite a bit because this is actually uh, part of one of the older expansions and people just tend to love that kind of uh, content more. As you can see I didn't get one here, but I actually did, the first mob I did kill I actually got Wild Vine. As you can see that is 2k right there. Now, when you do this farm completely, I, it's not crazy to see people walk out of here with, you know, 50 to 100 wild vine, which is, you know, quite a bit of money, uh, especially on the market now because obviously the markets are harder to get into just due to the fact that all legion content is kind of, like, thrown out, like it's all kind of completely finished, uh, there's nothing really left for people to do, and yeah, other than that, I mean, like, I don't know if you looked at the price of Legion mats, but they're, they're basically nothing, you know, when you first started farming, the mats for Legion, like, just skinning at least, were, you know, $20 a skin, now they're, like, what, you know, 50 silver, something really, like, stupid low, so this is definitely a farm I urge, uh, each and every one of you to, uh, check out, now, 
if you go ahead and look here, um, you want to kill all the mobs that are in this area, uh, preferably. I don't recommend going into the cave system because it is long and confusing and you can get lost. These mobs are just easier to go back and forth. Uh, just killing, obviously, is pretty easy. Um, so, yeah, you basically just run in between here and kill any of the skull splitter mobs that you see because they all have a chance to drop it and they all have a chance to drop the decent transmog gear. On top of that, you're going to get a bunch of cloth. Um, it's up to you what you do with that cloth. Obviously, right now, um, as, we, as we're as we moving into the new expansion, the pre-patch is going to be happening soon. Uh, a lot of you might know first aid is being taken out uh, after the pre-patch. So a lot of people are going to try to get those uh, first aid achievements because after this, they go into legacy achievements, obviously, and they're unobtainable after that point. So a lot of people will try to achievement hunt and hurry up and try to crack down all of the first aid achievements. Uh, just, I don't know, say that they can have them. But this is definitely, if you want to pick up that wool, it's obviously going to buff your income more. I only really recommend doing it if it's worth a whole lot on your server. But people have been farming some of these mats for, you know, three, four years now, so it might not really be worth it. I urge you just to check out your market more because uh, after you realize what sells, obviously you have a better chance of getting stuff. But uh, for this farm, it's basically all in this area right here. Uh, obviously, the biggest group of mobs, if you're watching the video still, you kind of already saw the biggest uh, groups that uh, spawn there is are in those two little like uh, ruined villages. Uh, those have the highest um, spawn rate out of any of them. They've got the most clumped together. The spawn range is not super fast, but these are quest mobs, so you're never going to run out with them. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of people doing them. Uh, currently and not a lot of people are actually trying this farm when you do sell your wild vine off you are going to make a decent amount of gold now take into consideration uh, this farm it could take a little bit longer to sell your stuff off right now even actually just in a market right now it's going to take a while to sell your stuff off but putting in time on farms like this as opposed to just skinning uh, leather out in legion is way more lucrative right now because yes you're going to sell the legion farm skin off fairly quickly but people are only going to buy that for one gold a skin, whereas these items, obviously, they're going for 2k a pop. So when you actually do find someone that wants to sell them, you're going to have a nice payday. Um, obviously, if you're not on WoW frequently and you can't find the time to do it, I recommend just go ahead and doing current content, skinning, and stuff like that. Because that's going to get you money the quickest out of uh, any of these items. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going around here trying to kill everything. Uh, remember, it is a quest zone, so kind of be courteous to other players. Don't ruin their questing experience, uh, just farming stuff. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's all I really have to talk about uh, for this farm. If you did enjoy this video, found it helpful, whatever, liked it, like my content, just go ahead and leave a like or subscribe or something like that. It just uh, shows me the support that I have from the community and uh, the community I've built, and it helps me. Well, you guys built the community, actually. I I, I don't know, I just make content and you guys tell me it's bad. But, <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to put out quality content for you guys that is relevant and useful. And, um, I don't know, I, good luck farming. Because if once you go do this, prices are going to drop. So I highly recommend you go ahead and uh, get in on this now before it gets ruined by anybody else. So, right now, uh, anyone that's not interested in hearing anything about the channel updates, stuff like that, you can go ahead and leave now. Uh, this is just for the people that w are interested in the channel itself and the community. You can stay um, because nothing after this is going to pertain to the farm pretty much. So basically what I, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of update everything for you. As you can see, I think we got a guy. You need help, guy? We'll help, we'll help him out a little bit. Okay, yeah, we'll help him out. He can have all that loot. But... So what's going on with the channel right now is I am currently attempting, is I, like I said attempting, obviously I missed one day, but I'm just going to have to upload twice another day. Um, I'm trying to upload once daily for you guys to keep daily content coming out for you because I know it's kind of a dry time in World of Warcraft and obviously once Battle for Azeroth kicks off, a lot of people are going to be flocking towards, you know, gold farming and stuff like that. But, um... So yeah, that's basically the schedule. If I do miss a day uh, here or there, I am sorry. I'm trying to upload daily. Um, obviously, like I've seen, even in the numbers and everything, you guys seem a lot happier when I do upload daily. It's quite difficult, but I am making it work, and that's about all I have to say for you guys, and I just want to thank you for your support, because I've been putting a lot of time into YouTube lately, and uh, it's been paying off. 
So uh, thank you to everyone also. I love every single one of you. And uh, notifi notification squad, if you're watching till the end, uh, can you comment? Let, let's think of a good word to comment. Can you comment, King Kunta knows how to say Kalamundor. But you have to spell it like I say it because it's wrong. So you're going to have to spell it wrong. And I'll like your comment. I'll put it in the top for you and everything. And uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.